Shifting gears now to uh, Jerry Seinfeld, who had um, a very loud and some would say abusive evening in New York City uh, as he left an event um, that was held by uh, Barry Weiss, uh, the uh, famous journalist and supporter. She's Jewish and has been very vocal in her support for Israel. So Jerry Seinfeld went to this event to support her, and when he walked out, this is what he heard. say something about uh, this. There are two things going on. There is, well, three things going on. Yeah. There is an October 7th massacre. There were, you know, uh, up uh, around 200 people taken hostage. And then there's the retaliation by Israel. Right. Those are not necessarily, those, those are not the same thing. And there are a lot of Israelis who are not happy with the way Netanyahu is handling the war. But that doesn't mean by supporting by the By saying movement, you want the hostages exactly. to come home does not mean that you are Precisely. for the genocide Precisely. of the Palestinian people, which is what, you know, Jerry was accused of, which Barry Weiss has been accused of, and she's been very outspoken and wanting. And even Jerry's wife uh, is on, on social media said a lot of things about we need to get the hostages home. Yeah, a lot of the nuance in this whole conversation has been lost on both sides, especially from people that are pro-Palestine. Um, they're accusing people that are showing any kind of compassion for Israelis, anybody who died during the attack on October 7th. That's what Jerry Seinfeld did. He went over to Israel, I think a couple months ago or so, mm -hmm. to go see it for himself and to meet with some of the families uh, who'd suffered from this. That's showing compassion. That was a tragedy. It, it's, it, that's fine, right? And yet, people see that and they perceive it as pro-Israel. They perceive it as pro-Zionism. They perceive it as pro-genocide. Yeah. Like that's, I gotta say, it's insane.